What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to show you what is in my opinion one of the best farms for Platinum Metals for Guardian Games. You want to pick up this bounty right here. It's called Platinum Plunderer. And this is for either raids or dungeons. And if you read that, it says that if you complete any three encounters, you will basically make progress here. And if you get done the raid, you'll get significant progress. The idea being that if you complete a raid or a dungeon, it'll pretty much get this thing done. But you also notice here that you can get progress as well by defeating combatants or generating orbs. And this is why I think this one is really, really good, especially if you're a solo player. If you got a fire team, yeah, jump in, do the raid, do the dungeon, whatever. But if you're by yourself, it makes getting those done really tough. This is where this card is really useful because anybody can do this. So right now I jumped into the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. If you don't have access to this, I'm pretty sure everybody has access to Vault of Glass and that will work too, but just not quite as fast as this. So the key thing here is you wanna make sure you're defeating combatants, but also to making orbs. So on my helmet, I have both the Void and I have the Solar Siphon on, and this will be helpful for the weapons that I'm using. I also recommend to, no matter what you're doing for this, make sure you're using a crafted weapon if you can. That way you're making progress to it and doing two things at once. So I have on this Trace Rifle and this Machine Gun, and I'm on my Tether Hunter. This one I think is gonna be your best bet so even if you're rocking the other characters, maybe one of you, you might want to switch to this character for this because making orbs is really easy on the hunter. So we're just going to go in here and do this really quick. I've been getting this bounty done from zero all the way to 100 in basically five minutes. So it's going to be super fast if you want to get platinum medals. Obviously, those are really useful to get because you're going to get a lot of good stuff when you deposit those. And again, if you're also using craft weapons like I am, you'll be getting two things done at once. The reason why I like Grasp of Avarice the most here is every time you pick up 10 of these exotic engrams or fake engrams, it gives you your super. So once I get 10 here, I can basically just use my tether. It's going to make a bunch of orbs that way. And because I have this siphon on my helmet, I'm pretty much making orbs with every single kill. The one thing I'll say though is if you do reach 100 engrams in this, uh, in other words, burden by riches times 100, that's the most you can have, that will kill you. So keep that in mind. If you die though, not a big deal. But essentially all I'm doing here is getting kills with my weapons, either void or solar, and I'm making orbs. And I'm making progress by getting orbs and by getting kills. So I'm gonna throw my tether in here. You can see there in the bottom left, I just made a bunch of orbs and got a bunch of kills. So we just basically rinse and repeat that. And I got my super again, I can jump right back out. This will work, of course, on the other classes too, but I feel like Tether is gonna be your best bet for this. So once I look in here again, I'm basically just looking in to see when guys spawn in, and then we'll shoot my Tether back in, and just keep rinsing and repeating. Now, obviously, is this the most, most thrilling gameplay? Not really, but that's, oh my goodness, that's where I'd recommend having your crafted weapons, because then I'm making progress for both here. So this is my, way of doing this. I think it's the fastest way of doing it. But you guys let me know. If there's a, if there's a faster way, I'd be happy to hear about it. I'm just going to go ahead, guys, and finish this thing up just so you can see how fast it is. Because you saw there, I was at 1% basically at the start of this video. And we'll see how long it takes. It shouldn't take very long. Run back in. Grab 10 more. These wizards are nice too, because if you have a solar weapon like this, every time you break their shield, basically, it gives you an orb of power as well. And it, like I said, if you die by the burdens of riches, not a big deal, it just spawns you back there, you just run back up here. In my opinion, there's only one downside to this is, and that's not everybody has it. So if you don't have this, you can do Vault of Glass. It just won't be as fast as this, but everybody has access to that raid. So if you're a free to play player, you can still farm these as well.
making tons of orbs right now. And we should be done this here any any minute now. And there we go. So we are done that. You guys could tell I did that in, I basically got that done in this video. And that was with me messing up a few times, messing up talking a few times. But now we're done that. If we just collect this, we can go right back to the tower guys, turn this in, get some good loot. I ideally get a really good pulse rifle, or I'm sorry, a scout rifle, a good submachine gun. And you can buy that same exact bounty, come right back in here. So. This will be helpful guys if you're going to try to get the uh, medals done here for platinum. Obviously there's a pretty cool sparrow there and other, other challenges here when it comes to guardian games. But if this is helpful guys, let me know. Really appreciate likes, comments, subscribe. That means a lot to me. Either way though guys, thanks for watching and best of luck in guardian games. See you guys soon. Bye.